So listen to the play by play day by day. What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broad. Cast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not ask why. And today I have a great one for y'all because we are joined by a woman of many hats. I'll let her get into that. But with no further introduction needed, we are joined by Brie, aka T, aka Big Brie. Yeah. Had to throw the whole alias out there. How okay. are you though? Thank you. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to get some food after this. Hit, hit one of these cookouts, man. People been bluffing, but Right. Yeah. I'm going to end up cooking myself. That's what's going to end up happening. Yeah. Do you cook on a grill? Like... Yeah, I know how to cook on a grill. Okay. I throw down. Where I'm from, we throw down. Okay. So where are you from? South Carolina. South Carolina. 864 Greenville to be exact. Greenville. Yeah. Shout out to Greenville in the okay. building. 864. And I can attest to y'all know how to throw down. Okay. We're going to make sure you eat. If mm-hmm. we don't do nothing else, we're going to make sure you eat good. So being in Charlotte for two years, uh, I've been to a few cookouts, but the okay. two best cookouts I've ever been to in my life... They were both from uh, South Carolina. One from Charleston, one from I don't know where. But Probably Columbia. It's a lot Pro- of Columbia people here. It is. It, it is. is. So what brought you to uh, Charlotte? Well, I've been here since like 2016, 2017. Okay, so nice. I little. went to Johnson C. Smith. Okay? okay. Shout out to the Golden Bulls. All right. Um, I went there for social work, and then I ended up moving off campus, got my first apartment, and been here ever since. But then COVID hit real bad. <sighs> So when COVID hit, I ended up having to get out my lease and going back home. But then I came back again at the end of the year. So okay. I've been back here since 2020. Yeah. So you, yeah, you've been there for a cool little minute. First off, let me say this. Uh, shout out to HBCU. Shout out to the CIAA. Okay. Yes, uh, sir. I'm also a um, grad from the CIAA um, from Bowie State, though. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, we we not y'all rivals. Yeah, y'all not our rivals, we, but you know, you didn't say Johnson C. Smith, nah. so it's just like you know, we still accept you though. Yeah, and we ain't even in the same state. But like, I played football, and like Bowie, when it come to football, like not to brag, but to brag, yeah, we've no. been running the CIAA. Yeah, no, y'all have. I get it. So like, when I wear my shit out here, people be sick. It's okay. But I, fuck I mean, with Smith. Smith, we got great spirit. That's mm-hmm. all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that because I got friends that were athletes at Smith and I love them deaf. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> we got, if we don't got nothing else, regardless of win or lose, we got spirit. Y'all do. Y'all travel to Maryland, which is, so Charlotte to Maryland is like seven, eight hours, depending, depending on traffic and all that. Y'all yeah. travel deep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. And even out here, when I be out here, like y'all, um, you know what I'm saying? Like all my modders and whatnot, they go hard oh, about yeah. Smith. They go super hard about Smith. I'll give it to y'all. Um, Real quick, since we talking about Charlotte and you mentioned the, uh, you mentioned COVID hitting and whatnot. Um, so what was, I keep hearing like the, the urban legends of the epicenter before COVID hit. What was that like? Oh my God. So the Epic Center was lit. Mm -hmm. But okay, so when I first got here in like 2017, I wasn't really like, outside okay so i had started bottle waitressing but it was like if i wasn't bottle waitressing i was in class okay so i was just now starting to get to know like the promoters mm. and figure out who was who but it was just still like eh, like yeah. but that I is a whole like network on its yeah, own yeah right? it is a network on its own but it was yeah. like i'm literally the only person i'm out here with was my older brother okay so it was like he was already in the nightlife because he was doing security mm. so i went to the epic center probably like two or three times and i used to go to i think it was vault it was small as hell, mm-hmm. but it was so lit. Yeah. Like, you could, like, it was no windows or nothing like that from what I remember. Because, like I said, I didn't go that many times. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, you can literally, people on the inside can just really touch you from the outside. Like, it was just really? lit. Yeah. Like, everybody's trying to pack up in one person's section. Like, it was just a vibe. And then you got insomnia cookies around the corner. So, it was just Is insomnia perfect. still there? Um. So, I think they ended up closing down just about everything except, like, Red Eye. Don't quote me on it. Like I said, I'm not a Charlotte near, you know. Yeah, native. Native, but, yeah. but from I think it's just red. I still mm-hmm. over there, but I wish they would open back up the Epic If they ever did, it'll be crazy. So I heard through the woodworks that they're opening up, but they're turning into like a shopping center type deal. Yeah, like, I saw something on Instagram, like a little Charlotte news page yeah. or something. It's not gonna be what it used to be. Nah, they said, man, fuck all that. Y'all niggas was too turnt. We ready to calm it down and try to bring I mean, these But I mean, it wasn't and... that bad. Like, they had Studio Movie Grill over there. They had a mm-hmm. little bowling alley thing yeah. at the bottom. Like, it was a vibe over there. Like, yeah. I used to... Me and my friends used to go bowling over there. I might go to the mm-hmm. movies sometimes, but I feel like people made it more than what it was, but mm. it was definitely like for the culture. Yeah, I wish I would have been able to experience it. I keep hearing stories. Yeah, no. Um, it was between CIAA and All-Star Weekend and stuff with the Epic Center. Crazy. So how do you feel about CIAA leaving Charlotte and going to Baltimore? 
Uh, I'm not too crazy about it because I used to work when I worked the nightlife. Like that was the best yeah. time, and I used to work at um, White House. It was off of Wilkinson Boulevard. Mm-hmm. It's be lit, mm. and from all star and see how they like. I used to work out with a bag from yeah. there. So it's just when they when it left and then COVID hit, I'm just like, mm, that fucked the money all up. Mm-hmm. Between that, and I just feel like I don't really hear about it no more for real since it left from here. So it's just like, and that, ain't nobody really go travel up there that far versus how people travel here to Charlotte. Everybody traveled to Charlotte. I'm gonna say this about them moving to Baltimore. That was the worst fucking decision CIAA could have made. Yeah, I love Baltimore. Got plenty of family from Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Um, been through and in Baltimore for a damn there all my life but um it makes no sense because there's not shit to do in baltimore compared to charlotte now if they would have went to dc dc would have made more sense way more sense because one is closer to north carolina Mm -hmm. and two dc is a nightlife city yeah like i've never went out in dc but yeah oh you got to real i'm gonna tell you what dc is really known for dc is the brunch capital like i love a good brunch dc is the brunch capital people say houston and atlanta dc got it DC I, love, got it. I love a good mimosa. Yeah, bottomless I everywhere. Good, I love a good brunch. DC got it. So that's that's really what they should have did. But I mean, it is what it is. Um, you mentioned earlier that you were a bottle waitress. Do you still do that? Yes. Mm-hmm. I just don't do it as heavy as I used to. Okay, I'm trying so, to maneuver out of it. Got you. So like I said, you're a woman of many hats. So what all are you involved with? Um, so I do bottle waitressing. Mm-hmm. I am a flight attendant. Ah. Um, also work at the hospital. I just got back into that and I have a couple of businesses that I am starting up right now. There you go. Get your hustle on a yeah. woman of many hats. I told you I was not bluffing. <laughs> I'm all about passive income. My thing mm-hmm. is, I mean, I'm young right now. I'm about to turn 27. So my okay. thing is I'm big on passive income. My goal is to really just sleep and make money like wake up i want to wake up look at my phone okay this is i ain't got to do nothing this is what's going on right now put my phone back down enjoy time with my dude enjoy time with my family Mm -hmm. just do make my own schedule i don't want to work for nobody and i'll say this like as far as like that mentality with women today in general that's like the majority like the women like Y'all be quick to like get on that like hustle shit yeah because you got to find a way a mech way how i was raised you don't ask a nigga for a damn thing. Hmm. Now, do you think that's good or bad? Not talking. I mean, no. I mean, it's a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Now, personally, with me, I I let it be known if I really need something. Okay. But other than that, I'm gonna find a way to make a way. Like my dude, he'll ask me, "Are you good? Mm-hmm. Like you need something?" I'll let him know if I need something. But if it's not nothing like crazy, like I need this right now, right? I'm cool because I and then like I said, I'm gonna find a way to make a way. That's a good mentality to have. Um, so real quick, uh, on the flight attendant part, mm-hmm. do you get like discounts with flying and whatnot? Yes. Oh man. Sir. So I know you be traveling and shit. I don't have to, anything domestic is free. Really? And then international, you just pay taxes. Really? I know a friend, I got a homegirl that went to Paris for like $78. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just taxes and domestic just taxes. is free. If it's round trip taxes, like, um... I'm supposed to be going to Bali in October. Wow. You want to guess how much my flight is round trip? To Bali? Yeah. For a week? What, like $100? $250 round trip. (sighs) That is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's it's, it's benefits. It's some pros and cons to the flight attendant life, but... Well, let's talk about the pros real quick. What are all of the... Let's do countries because domestic is easy. What are all the countries you travel to? Well, the crazy thing is, before I became a flight attendant, I was doing a bunch of traveling. Um, In my previous relationship, my ex was a pro basketball player overseas. Okay. So I was in... Where did I go? I've been to... I ain't go to nowhere crazy. I went to Israel, Germany, DR, Canada. Uh, I've been everywhere. But, like, I have my Pandora bracelet. So, anytime I went somewhere, I just put a charm on it because mm. I do want kids. But I feel like I'm going to be the friend that has a girl because all my homegirls are having boys. So, if I have a girl, I'm going to just get her my Pandora bracelet. Mm. It shows that mommy was traveling. And, like, she would try to do the same and visit those mm-hmm. same spots. And that, that bracelet is heavy. You got quite amount of charms on that, yeah. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite place that you've been to? Country. Favorite country. And why? Ooh. I was... I'm a foodie mm-hmm. when I travel. That's the best part. So, I'm going to say Israel. Israel. 
Yeah. Really? Not- Israel was lit. Really? It was a very, it was a big, it was a big experience. Cause I had a flight. My flight went from Charlotte to London. So I was in London for a little bit. And then from London to Israel, it was long. It was like a 17 hour flight. God damn. Yeah. So what's what like what was it like like it was I, just different just like the culture itself like it's just hard to explain mm-hmm. like it was you could just you could tell I wasn't from there mm-hmm. but everyone was just so nice and the vibe and the energy like no one was being you know how you go some places people look at you like you're crazy yeah. and just want to be rude and bump into you and if stuff. you're a tourist they kind of give you that tourist vibe mm-hmm. yeah. and it was different you know they drive on like the opposite side mm-hmm. like the police there they always drive with their lights on and it was a it was it was a good experience i would go back yeah, so did you, like is that like a spot that you didn't expect to be as nice and then you get there and you're like, damn, yeah, this is no, all right. really. I really did. That's how I feel about Toronto. Really? Yeah, because like this couple of years ago, my mom's like, hey, we about to go to Toronto. I'm like, bet. I'm like, Toronto, that's Drake. That's where Drake's from. That's all <laughs> I think of. Like, it's the needle. And I get there and it was like, I love Toronto. It was like a green New York City. Yeah, I love Canada. What parts of Canada have you been? Um, I've been to Toronto and then over by Ni- Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's about in the kind of the same mm-hmm. vicinity. Yeah, yeah. But see, over there, Niagara Falls, it gives me, it gives me like, you been to the boardwalk in Myrtle Beach? Like Dirty Myrtle in South Carolina? Yeah. So that area over there, it gives me boardwalk vibes, but like on steroids. What, the part like where you can look down and yeah, see everything? Yeah, where like all that stuff is right there by Niagara Falls. I went on the boat and was in the water. Oh, see, I ain't do all that. Yeah, that shit was cool. I saw people with zip lining and everything. Nah, I nah, said, nah, yeah, nah, no, nah, we ain't gonna nah, do that. I ain't I'm, doing all that. Hell I'm, nah. I'm black. Hell I'm not nah. doing we ain't zip that. No. Fuck no. And it was during Fourth of July. So, you know, the fireworks and everything was going right there, but it definitely it's the vibe. The food was great. No complaints on the food. Best pizza I've ever had in my life was in Toronto. And I've lived in New York City. I've been visiting New York City since I was eleven years old. Best pizza in my life came from a little ass shack in Toronto. Is the shacks are those the ones that be sitting on the side of the road? Yeah, like it, the people they had their little stands doing stuff. Nah, not like not like that. Oh, okay. it, it was technically a brick and mortar, but it was tiny. Like okay. if you was in there, you're literally bumping elbows with people if you sit down. It was tiny. It was like rectangle pizzas, and it wasn't even a regular pizza. It was like some type of truffle pizza or some shit. Truffle. Yeah, but and I said the same thing like about you know truffle. Truffle pizza. <laughs> best shit I've ever had in my life. You know, I had some pizza recently. I had oxtail pizza. Now that's crazy. Yeah, right there was different. yeah. I, and I'm the type where I'm going to just eat cheese pizza yeah. or pineapple pizza. But that oxtail, not going and back. It was hitting. Hitting. That's the only piece I'm ever eating. Where was, oh, this, where was this at? It's over off of, um, I think it's called, what's it, Reynolds or something like Reynolds? that? Yeah, I have to show you. But that sh- there. Oxtail pizza, that's Listen, intriguing. I ain't never going to no other pizza. Yeah, I like never. oxtail. Who doesn't like pizza? And it's it's like, and it's tender oxtail. Like, that's important. And it got peppers, like red and green peppers, and uh, not too heavy on the onions. Like, it wow. got just the right amount of cheese. Like, it's perfect. Yeah, I'm imagining it right now. That, look, I'm, I'm out over here drooling yeah. just thinking about it. I might have to get that today, but listen. Oxtail that, pizza. I'm going to have to see what's up with you. Real quick, not you try to get past it. Pineapple pizza just by itself? Yeah. That's some wild shit, Brie. No, it's not. You. It's good for you. Do you put <laughs> no, no ham on it, no sausage, nothing, no, just pineapple? I'm not a big pork person. Yeah. We don't yeah, really yeah, eat pork neither, in my yeah, house. Yeah, me neither, me neither. But, you know, like growing up, I used to do the pineapple and ham. Uh-uh. Straight pineapple. And it's crazy. When I was growing up, I only, only did cheese and pepperoni. Mm-hmm. But I barely even did pepperoni. I just take the pepperonis off. So mm-hmm. it was just like, gave it a little... Flavor or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but dude, I know what you're saying. Leaves yeah, pineapple blessing though. Ah, I'm gonna I'm I'm hold your word to that. You can try that one too. Try that one before you try the oxtail. Because once I'm, you try the oxtail, I'm, you ain't going back. I'm, I promise I'm, you. I'm good. I'll stick with the oxtail. Okay. Pineapple, I'm good. I'll eat pineapple on its own. Um, so best country or country with the best food? Ooh. Hmm. Germany. Germany. Best pasta. Have you ever had a donor in Germany? No. Do you know I what didn't. that is? No. You know you know how some <laughs> spots in Germany it's that thing that spins with the meat and they shave it off? Yeah. And it's a you can either get it in a wrap or a box. But okay, those are, yeah. Those are I was donors. supposed to go to a place like that, but I was so stuck on 
the pasta. Really? Out of Germany? Was, yeah, there was everything, you know, here, everything's processed. Yeah. When we go over there, nothing is processed, so it tastes so different. And it was the fact they're making the noodles and everything from scratch in front yeah. of me. I want this every day. I want yeah. a different type of pasta every day. What was in the pasta? Um, So I did pasta with like pesto sauce and sh- grilled shrimp or some chicken, or I did both. It was just... Oh, it's just so great. You got my mouth over here drilling now. Yeah, we're talking about food. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, I'm a foodie as well. Have you been to Italy? No, I'm supposed to go to Italy in October for my best friend's birthday. We're supposed to do a tour. We're supposed to go to Italy and Paris. Okay. Well, when y'all do Italy, get their Italian food, their pasta and whatnot, and then circle back and let me know how that is compared to Germany. Because I I, I was in Germany for a couple months, but I've never had their pasta now that I think of it. Okay. I had pasta in Italy. It was like shrimp scampi or something like that. But, and that was... That was crazy. I would expect Italy's pasta to be yeah. good. Like, it's Italy. That's where it like, comes from. Yeah, right, yeah, that's yeah. where it comes from. Like, yeah. it's supposed to be good. Yeah, but I'd like to hear how that is compared to Germany's because okay. everything is fresh over there, but I've just never had Germany pasta. It's just pasta. so different. So when, you, when you've been out of the country, do you try, like, they McDonald's and stuff too? Or Yeah, and that that's different too. That's different. Which is crazy, that right? That is different. It'd be so good. It is. I went to the McDonald's in uh, 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 Germany, now that I think about it. Yeah, and it... Man, that Whopper like tastes nothing like the one out here. Here, exactly. Yeah. So it makes me think like, what the hell y'all doing over here for yeah. real? Oh, they taking us out slowly. Real slow. For sure. For mm-hmm. sure. They taking us out slowly. Um, if you could live in any other country, just pack up and move to, where are you choosing? <sighs> it's crazy. Me, me and my dude was talking about this a while back. We went to Jamaica. I would move to Jamaica. That makes sense. Jamaica is a freaking vibe mm. like to this day me and him talk about like our trip to jamaica like it's crazy yeah. like i would literally just relive my trip in jamaica every day if i could mm. like it's just that much of a vibe like yeah. it's like it's us over there like they love and the thing is they love and they respect their women mm. like they are such protectors over there i love it yeah, and they, the food good, oxtails, <laughs> everything, and then everything is fresh over there. Like from the fruits to the shit they cook, everything yes. there, everything there is, uh, you know, what I'm saying fresh and whatnot. So, what was your, you just, what was your favorite part about that trip? Just the whole vibe in general. Yeah, it was mostly a trip just to like get away from yeah. everything in Charlotte, just to really reset and just mm-hmm. have time to ourselves. So the whole trip itself was just the vibe. Yeah, I've only heard great things about Jamaica. I still haven't been. Have I? You haven't been to Jamaica. Nah, I haven't. Really? Never been. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I know. Sir, I, what are you doing? I know. I say the same thing. <laughs> what are you doing? I say the, and you know what's even crazier? My number one weakness when it comes to women? Jamaican, Jamaican. women. Wow. Yeah. And, and I, you ain't even been. I've Look never at you. Been. I've never been. That's pro- It's probably a reason I've never been. I probably go over there and lose my fucking mind, not want to leave, all types of shit. I mean, I mean, when we went, I didn't want to leave either. Between that and the beef patties, and yeah. you know, I ain't want to leave. I'm talking about the cheek patties. I'm talking about the That's- women. I will go over there. I'm saying, <laughs> I, will- mean, I mean. The women over there are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. Is that's not no shade or anything? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I know. Like yeah. I said though, that's just always been. I'm- I will say the women over there are definitely thick, mm-hmm. and everybody over there is a vibe. So just you going there alone, just catching the vibe, you're not going to want to leave. So the yeah. the cheek patties, that's just gonna be a plus. For Added you. with it, yeah, yeah. So maybe that's why. If I could pick any other country to live in, I would pick Barcelona, Spain. Yeah. Why? I- I visited there and I remember, like, I've been to a few spots, as you can tell, but just there, I'm like, yeah. Um, So why? The beach, like, it's, you know, surrounded by water. It's the beach and whatnot. Hello, mm-hmm. mountains. And the scenery is just very vibrant. I imagine it's how Jamaica is. Yeah. I, I think it's just like a European Jamaica, honestly. Um, the beaches, the food was on point. And I like, I like a city uh, aesthetic. Like, I like the whole city vibe okay. type thing. And it's heavy city like just back to back to back buildings homes like the the homes are nice over there so yeah just the vibe really attracted me on top of everything else with the food and the aesthetic and the beaches and whatnot and just the air like the air was it, like you said on next friday it tastes good tastes good too like you could taste <laughs> like the air was clean and whatnot so and it was still green it was hella you know like trees okay. and whatnot it's not so. like you're talking about aruba a little bit because i went to aruba for my birthday mm. like a year or two ago I was there for a whole week. How'd you like that? Ruby's was nice. Fine. Yeah. It was hot, though. Like, mm. hot. Yeah. 
hot. So we were on ATVs for like six hours. Oh. But we didn't even know it was going to be that long, but it was yeah. definitely like worth it. We only spent like a hundred something dollars on it. Oh, that's sweet. But it was like, they took us on a whole tour. So we did like the cave jump and mm. they had like food trucks out there on the trails for us. We went through a desert. It took us through the beach. Yeah, that's everything. hard. And then you driving the ATVs yeah, the, whole, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now that's hard. I went, um, what's that shit called? I have visited Aruba too. We went, uh, um, what's that shit called? Not canoeing, but kayaking? One of those two. Where you buy yourself in a joint. Oh, yeah. See, I'll do that. Yes, mm-hmm. it was a workout. A yeah, few no. a few of my folks tapped out. That shit was a workout. Yeah, no. Yeah, but that was all part of the exclusion from a, a cruise. You ever been on a cruise? I'm scared. Why? Surrounded I'm scared, but water. I want to do it. You should. <laughs> I'm scared, but I want to do it. I'm scared because uh, so I saw the Titanic in like 3D. Yeah. <laughs> Judge... Judge your mama, not me, yeah, please. <laughs> I get it. But, you know, Titanic was in, like, what, the fucking 40s or 30s or 20s or That's some shit? That's fine. But, I mean, stuff be happening with cruise ships now. And, like, I just don't know. Like, Bro, the you, fact that I wake, I can wake up mm-hmm. and it's not with goddamn water around me. That's one of the I best parts. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's isolation. You just feel like you're away from... The rest of the world. I am in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of water. Like no, I do. It's on my bucket list to do though. Like yeah. me and my homegirl was supposed to go on a cruise, but we didn't end up going. But I'm just scared. It's not that bad. I will say this: the first day you may get seasick. Okay. But after that, you get your body gets adjusted to it, and it's literally a party with complete strangers in the middle of the fucking ocean. I love that shit. I heard once. I have heard that once you get on there, like. You forget that you're even on a boat because there's so much stuff to do, which I love that. I love that for people. Yeah. But it's the fact I know that I'm on a boat and I can't just walk off the boat. Yeah, now nah, you can't. So, so a helicopter like, would have to come get you or some shit. Exactly. Or and when I'm you just, dock, you dock at, you know, you dock at different countries. Yeah, I've heard, whatnot. you know, when you dock, you get off the boat. You mm-hmm. know, you can do certain excursions, but you got to be back on the boat at that time or they're leaving, they leaving your ass. Hell yeah. So I don't know. It's on my bucket list. I'm going to try to do it this summer, you maybe. You should do it. It's like a hundred, like, safety boats. Like, you go through the whole safety precaution first day in case it sink or whatnot. And have you ever heard of a cruise ship sinking besides the Titanic? Since you've been alive, <gasps> the past 26 years. Have you ever heard of a cruise ship? No, sinking? but I did see something. I think it was like a carnival cruise ship, like the engine, something caught on fire or something before they even left the damn dock. And I'm just like, well, there you go. Hop on the, hop on the next joint. Like, no. <laughs> like it's the fact they didn't even get to take off. Like people are still boarding. Yeah. If something happens, yeah. it's okay. Well, shit, they got their money back for sure. But speaking of I carnival, hope. speaking of carnival, carnival cruise. If anybody, let me. If anybody's interested in the cruise, carnival for sure. Carnival. I heard was it like Alaska, Alaskan, nah, whatever. No. I heard they do better stuff than carnival. But you're literally going through Alaska. No matter what time of the year it is, it's going to be freezing. Yeah. Fuck all that. I mean, but if you want to experience it, go to Alaska there. Yeah, if you want to experience Alaska, you have to do on a cruise. My mom's actually about to do that shit, but um. Yeah, carnival is a big ass party. Okay. And let me also I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna take your word on it, but I'm telling you. I'm I'm gonna have to think about this cruise stuff. Big ass best week of my life. Literally. Best like week. Not day, but best week. So of how my long life. can cruises be? Like anywhere, up to a week? Yeah, anywhere from like three days to a week. I think they have some two week ones. Any types of shit. And if you wanna work for a cruise, you live on a boat for I think Six or nine months at a time. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, like I would, I would work on a cruise, hmm. sail around and shit. That's not too bad. That's, yeah. not, uh, that's not gonna be one of my hats. I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, but I will say this to let me let me give a message to my to my fellas out there real quick. Okay, go on a cruise if you're single. If you think okay, so what if you're in a relationship? You'll have a good time too. So you and your dude should go. You have a you'll have a ball too. But I'm talking about fellas who are single who are trying to mingle. Go on a cruise. It is like sounds like a setup. It's straight. It's straight. <laughs> You're outnumbered. We're outnumbered on cruise ships. Cause, okay. Because it's girl trips. Okay, that's facts. It's family trips. That's true. Which they still either by themselves or with their sister or their cousin right, or whatever. You know, they branch off with the favorite cousin and stuff like that. Exactly. And okay. That's what me and my cousin did. Or there, there are. It's a lot of couples there too. Right. So even if it is like you know what I'm saying, like some dudes out there, they're usually with their girl anyway. Like it's not a large amount of like God trips type thing. Like when I went, right. it was a family trip, and it was me and my cousin. And I'm gonna just say this. And that week, I probably did six months worth of work in that week alone. That shit was crazy. 
It could have been way worse too, but I was double backing big, on some shit. Big pimping. Yeah, it could have been <laughs> way worse, but I, I double backed on this one joint a few times. Chicago, she was a beast. Okay, yeah. I heard Chicago people crazy, but I felt little. Well, they say they say the crazy joints be the ones with the best shit, and if that's the case, then yeah, oh she. Oh my could, god! If no that's the case, <laughs> if that's the case, then she need to be institutionalized because her shit was crazy. I am screaming. <laughs> yeah, that shit was lit. So, if you could pick between vacation and girls trip, what are you choosing? Ooh, damn! Because my vacations be a vibe, but my girl trips they be a fucking vibe too. Can I do like a couple of days vacation? Did a couple of days girls trip? Can only pick one. <laughs> if I were to say Brie, I'll give you a vacation to anywhere you want for a whole two weeks, but you can only pick one. Bay tr- vacation, vacation, vacation. Yeah, I fuck with my home girls, but we any with any girls trip, you can only be around females, but so long. I was already say y'all always have some type of drama with y'all girl but, trips. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's true. I mean. No, it's true. I went on a trip. It was like a co-ed trip. I mm-hmm. went on my homegirl birthday. We went to St. Martin. And it was it was it was some drama. Yeah. But I mean it was like 30 of us. Oh god damn. That's a recipe. That's <laughs> but see, a recipe. it was like I said, it was co-ed, but it was majority females than mm-hmm. guys. Like you could count the guys all on one hand, but the, everything else was just straight females. But we all uh. knew each other. I just feel like, like I said, when you're around, like you know, females around each other for too long. Little shit started aggravating yeah. us. Like, bitch, why are you doing this? That's, like, that's, why are you doing? T- why is she being extra? Like, yeah, she wasn't just doing this the other day. Like, that's emotions. That's estrogen. And then when right. you throw the liquor in the mix, oh man, you throw that, that casa. Is tr- yeah, that's up there. Like, mm-mm. that sounds like my. You said it was like five dudes and like hella girls. That sounds like my type of trip. But I mean, everybody was like family though. Oh, okay. like you got okay. some people. Okay. Some of the dudes, they girls was there, and then oh, some okay. of them was just like bros to the okay. girls. So it was okay. like everybody knew each other. Like okay. we was all just like one big family. But that's fair. What's the vibe? That's fair. That's what's up. And you was in St. Martin? Yep. Okay, cool. We had this big ass like Airbnb. It was but it was like three three houses. It was basically like a mansion. Like it was mm, crazy. Yeah, rightfully so. Speaking of vacation, did you see recently it was on Twitter and whatnot with the young lady who went on a vacation with her dude and posted pictures with his face completely blurred out? Okay, so I don't have a Twitter, but I did see that. They was like on a boat and stuff yeah, too, and she blew. Boat. I fuck with it. You fuck with it. I fuck with it. Why even post anything? But listen, it's all about privacy. Like I let y'all see what I want y'all to see. Y'all can see this man's body, but you're not gonna see his face. Okay. I get it. So is that because you don't want bitches to be on your dude? No, because at that point, okay. So relationships, I feel like if you're not confident enough in your person mm-hmm. to where like you know people gonna be looking, mm-hmm. you know people go try some shit. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's all about your person. Like if you know your person ain't gonna be sweating them or worry about them. Honey, go right ahead and look. Do what you want to do. Like, I ain't sweating it because I got that mentality like, he going to be here anyway. Like, that's not giving him the line to go do your dirt and shit because right, right. I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> I'm confident enough in him knowing he ain't going to do nothing. Mm. He ain't going to disrespect me because he don't want me to do that to him. So, again, why take his face out? Just, to, I mean, some people do it to be funny. My homeboy did it. With his girl? Yeah. Like, like put an emoji over post, her? No, he didn't even put an emoji. He put his face on her body. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, he put his face on her body. And I was like, bro, log out. Like, mm, are you yeah. for real? And he's like, y'all not going to get this one. Like, you're crazy. See, I'm the opposite. If I am po- if I do, like, because sometimes you don't want to just post your partner or who right. you're with. Especially if it's like a sneaky linkation. Like, sometimes you'll just post scenes and she may post it too and people will put two and two together. That's what happened with me. That happens. Look, that it's happened some, with me. It's some detectives out here. <laughs> no, yo. no, for real. We went on our, I think it was for his birthday. Mm-hmm. We went to Mexico, mm-hmm. but it was like, we were still like low key. Okay. So um, we wasn't putting it out there that we was like messing around with each other. Mm-hmm. And I was posting and then he would post up. But then I had like people on my end like, so who you with? Yeah. And I'm like, Somebody. Yeah. But then it's like when we got back, like people was just like, oh, I know who you was uh-huh. with. Da, da, da. Like, mind your business. Yeah. Is. yeah like, yeah. that ain't nothing to put. Like, listen, there's some detectives on social media. I like man. Having, yeah, it is. But I like having like the privacy of my relationship. Yeah. That's I good. love it. Yeah, that is good. Cause then, like, if whether good or bad, people going to want to know the first. Exactly. You know people always want to put their foot in their yeah. they whole body in a situation. Cause we was, we were like private, then we went public, and mm. then public came with a lot so yeah i just end up going back private yeah i get it have you um taken uh 
Solo trips? Do you do solo trips? So I want to do a solo trip, but between my brother, my dude, my mom, I'm the baby girl in the family. Okay, yeah. So they not trying so to hear not, that shit. So they ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah. Like, I've even told my, I've told my mom in front of my dude, like, I'm going to just take a trip by myself to Mexico. And they both was like, no, the yeah, fuck you not. I like, know your fuck? mans wasn't with that and shit. And I'm just like, <laughs> I mean, I, when, like, I, when, we leaving? when I travel though, I go to all exclusive resorts. If it's not all exclusive, I don't want to go because okay. at all exclusive, you don't have to leave the resort. Right. Like only time you gotta leave is for excursions, but now it's out of ten, the resort itself has excursions. Yeah. So or I'm, they may like transport you there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but even then, like, I feel like eventually I'm gonna take a solo trip. I and, need one. Yeah, and it's it's different for women. You know what I'm saying? We can call yeah. it as it is. It's definitely different for women as far as safety measurements. Yes. And yeah. then just how like how I am on a trip, I'm just like any female. Like I'm showing off skin. Like mm-hmm. I just wanna walk around, bikini, yeah. ass out, glowing, mind yeah. my business. But you just had those people that be trying to play. Lot. Like it's mm-hmm. I've seen stuff where people try to break into somebody's room yep. and and that's like my worst fear. But it's like I'm not trying to have my fear stop me from like living. Yeah. So something got to give. That's definitely a great point. Have you ever been to a nude beach? No, I want to. Yeah, they got them in Europe, Spain. That's another reason for Spain. Don't they got one in Florida? Yep, they do. Yeah, but I think you should. I think it's better out the country just because like. One thing I noticed from being in Europe compared to here, especially Amsterdam, is like we're hot over here. What I mean by that is we we be pressed for like a lot of shit. We want to pull our phones out and record everything. Right, you just don't want to enjoy the moment. Exactly. We want to put everything on blast out there. Like they don't really play that phone game shit. Like spe- like um, in Amsterdam, I was in a mushroom shop and tried to pull my phone out to record it. I'm young. I'm probably like 22. And dude was like, nah, 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 I won't do that. Nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The red light district. So prostitutes are legal in Amsterdam. And the red light district is a is a district like a... It's just a, nothing for prostitutes. It's a strip of straight prostitutes within a glass, um, a glass room surrounded by a red light. That's why they call it the red light district. So the prostitutes be in the window showing off their body. And you walk by and if you like her, she'll crack open the door. Y'all negotiate prices. You go with her behind the door. It's a curtain behind her. Y'all go behind the curtain, handle business. So why you know so much about that? I've been there. Oh, okay. I, well, I've seen it happen. I, You've been there. I, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw somebody do it. Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, that's how it works. That's interesting. I would never do that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, this is a judge-free zone. Ain't nobody judging. It is. I've never done it, but. Okay. I, and mind you, I was with my family. Well, I was with my step pops, but okay. I do want to go back to Amsterdam for a guy's trip and do more shit that stays in Amsterdam. I'm going to just say that because it's a okay. lot. Of, they got live sex shows out there. All t- like Amsterdam is lit, but we don't know why because they don't put it on blast. Right. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I love stuff like that. Me too. So I'm trying to go back. But no, I didn't fuck a prostitute in Amsterdam. Um, but if you want to know, since we're going down this road, I think I did in Vegas. Okay. Since we're speaking of solo trips, I took a solo trip to Vegas. Okay. Before the solo trip, I went with my family. And then I went back like two months later for my birthday for the solo trip. And when I was out there with my family, I hooked up with this one girl. I went back on my solo trip and hit her up when I was out there. Now, she didn't tell me she, you know what I'm saying? She told me she did something. She lived like off the strip, all types of shit, right? Okay. So the second time, I'm at Bally's, which is on the strip across from Bellagio. Mm -hmm. So she comes over. And we spend like the whole day together. Like she's taking me to all these spots. She putting me on and shit, all types of shit. That's kind of risky though. It is. It is. But I mean, you know, it is Yellow, what it is. Like you, it. like you said, I don't want to let my fears Fear, stop right, me. Right, right. That's what I said. Yellow, fuck it. And she was bad too. She was like older. She was like 34, 35. Oh, you got a cougar. It. Yeah. Well, I'm 20. I was 26 at the time. I don't think that's a cougar. I think cougar got to be 40 over. I'll give her milk because she had kids. So we can say Okay, milk. yeah, we can do a milk. So she, you know what I'm saying? And plus, like I said, I hit her the first time I was out there. So I already okay. knew. Yeah, so y'all was already getting to know each other prior yeah, to this. Yeah, okay. yeah, So the second time I'm out there, so she drive me around and shit. She even bought me like food, bought me a candle. That's what got me into the candle game. She bought me a nice candle to take home. Okay. So we turned up, you know what I'm saying? We fucking again. We, we living out there. So that night, we hit the strip. Mind you, prostitution is kind of legal in Vegas. Type. Yeah, I was about to say it is kind of legal out there. It's like some stipulation, but it's they got le- the what's the Playboy bunny shit or something. Oh, um, the um ranches, yeah, brothels, all types of shit. So it's it's kind of legal. I think it's some. I don't know, but for the most part, it's legal out there. Like prostitutes go to Vegas for payday. Mm-hmm. So we on a strip walking around, and hella hoes newer. 
like endless hoes we walk by, like saying, "Hey, what's up, girl?" Da 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 da. Are you fucking with a pimp? And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> that could, could have been that. And I'm okay. like, okay, yo, it was like four or five of them. And I'm like, damn, how you how you know all of them? Mm. She says, oh, I do their hair. I do a lot of hoes' hair. Mm. I'm like, all right. You do a lot of hoes here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. Okay. I'm like, okay. I'm, I am really ain't paying no mind. I'm drunk. I'm still vibing with her. Like I said, she was a good time. She was bad as shit. And her shit was on point. That's why I doubled this back. This man distracted. Lord yeah. Jesus. Very much. Very much. Typical guy. Y'all get distracted so easily with Listen, us females. Ain't, ain't that no, is crazy. Ain't nothing like that thing. Especially if it's A1. Her shit was A1. I was definitely blinded. Uh, that's why I went celibate now to get focused. But anyway, back to the story. So, <laughs> oh so hella hoes know her, but she's still a good time. Okay. So, then, so then that night we go back to the room or whatever. I think she spent the night and she left or whatever. So it hit me. I'm sitting back thinking like, is she a hoe? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> she knew all of them. When she put I mean, she's a top hoe. She might have been. When she pulled up, she had a rubber in her purse, which ain't which is common. For single women, I think, why you make that face? Is that not common? I've dealt um, with women that have had rubbers in their purses before. Well, I'll let you finish your story. <laughs> so so I'm just putting everything together. Okay. I'm like, yo, I think she was a hoe. So peep this, right? Bally's in Vegas. You been to Vegas? Yes, I've been to Vegas. Bally's is in the middle of the strip, directly across from the Bellagio Fountain. Right. So I'm by myself. I'm like just stepping out at night or whatever. I'm, I'm going down the escalator of Bally's, which leads directly to the strip. And I see her walking. She got a fur coat on with like some old head, like walking on the strip. He's fucking with the hoe. But she, yeah. And he was tricking. Like that wasn't her pimp or nothing. You could tell he was tricking. Like you okay. could tell he was like what they say out there. You could tell he was a square. Okay. Like he was tricking. Like he wasn't like. Like he he, didn't, he ain't her boss. Yeah, he ain't caught her. He bought her. Like I caught her. You know what I'm saying? You could tell right. the difference. You could tell the difference on how she moved. Yeah, in. yeah. And plus, like I said, she had like the fur. She had the fur on. She had that chinchilla shit. Yo, on. so I she see put her that shit on. I see her. I'm like, yo, that is crazy. But did I, she acknowledge you? I don't think she saw me. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't think she saw me because she wasn't looking at me. The strip is packed. She's walking. I see her. Right. I look. I look at him. Like, okay, cool. I look away and I just keep it pushing. She might have saw me. I'm not sure. We didn't. Talk again after that, I don't think. Okay. I think I just told her when I landed. She was like, let me know when you land type shit. And I think I did. But um, yeah, so when I saw her, I'm like, yo, I think I was fucking with a hoe. I mean, but she seemed like she was a cool hoe, though. Cool as shit. She bought me food and a candle. I didn't have to pay for shit. And she showed me around like she was my personal go- uh, tour guide around Vegas. So it was it was a good time. Wow. But I think I did. For, I well, love that for you. Appreciate that. <laughs> And I ain't hit her sushi for anybody that may be wondering and asking. I ain't hit her sushi. So everything was cool. Listen, okay. I, yeah, I fuck with hoes. Not you, saying like I love them, but I'm literally. saying like. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> literally. Didn't judge free zone. Once yeah. again, just a reminder. <laughs> I, I fuck with hoes because they living in their truth. And at the end of the day, that's a business. Like, Yeah, no, for real. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah, your money so, how you can. Exactly. It was, um, yeah, it was a good time. Wow. So anyway, to circle back to you, okay. um, Miss Flight Attendant. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the air, the airlines. First off, which airline have you or do you work with? Um, I don't think I can say okay, what back. airline okay. I work for, right, but I can say that I work for one of the major okay. airlines not regionally. Spirit. Not Spirit. Right. Definitely not Spirit. Okay, good, good, good. And then you have to walk past everybody unless you're in the very back row. I mean, you wouldn't want to be in the back row, though. The last run of playing, uh-huh. you don't want to be there. Why? I mean, it's just no room. Mm. Literally. Wait, as far as like in front of you? Like it's yeah. a difference in the back row? Yeah. The back, like in general, like the first, I've realized the further you go back mm-hmm. in the plane, the less room you have. Ah. You got the last row, no, the seat don't recline. Like it don't. it's it's super straight up. So it's almost ah. like you're like leaning forward like that yeah. a little bit. Like you have no leg room. There's nothing. Ah, that's a little hack. We done just got some free game. That's yeah, so anytime hand. you do book a flight, you want to make sure, like, it's either, like, probably two or three ex- rows after the exit row or before. Okay. Because ah. the closer you are to the back, the less room you're about to have. Wow, the more you know. Plus, you're the last to get off, and you know when yeah. shit. Does that annoy you when flights land and people <laughs> stand up immediately? 
Yes, because why are you standing? I've like regardless, standing. like you still gotta wait on a jet bridge. Then you gotta wait for everybody in the front to grab their stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you're just standing. Even if you try to push to go through people, you're still not gonna get far. Right. But you know, if you like it, I love it. Whatever floats they boat. I've never understood that shit. And people, be, especially if I'm in the aisle and someone inside, they're gonna be mad at me. I'm like, yo, I'm not standing up, bro. Like just for what to get in front of two people to save three seconds of my life. I'm good on that I shit. Hate, my thing is, it's my biggest pet peeve. I hate, and hate is such a strong word, but I hate when people book their flights back to back. Like, What do you mean by that? Like if you got, if your flight lands, say we land at like 2.50, mm-hmm. your flight leave at like 3.30. Mm. Why you book your goddamn flight so close? Yeah. Now you mad telling, you want us to tell them to hold the plane. <laughs> oh yeah, let me just call them and tell I can't do that. Like, I know you. I know you come across like some wild ass complaints from customers. Like I do, especially lately, people been wilding on they, airline it's crew. It's been lately. so crazy. I had one lady. I was working the front of the plane, and she came. You know, we got to greet everybody as they come on the plane and stuff. Mm-hmm. And she came on there, and she was so mad. So you know, it's our job to try to make a person's day better. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, the gate agent wouldn't change my seat. Like the shit was supposed to revolve around her. But the thing is, I it was a full flight anyway. Oh. So, I was, you know, we just have to do the general, like, I'm sorry, you know, that you've had this, you know, experience as of right now. Like, you know, you have to sit in your assigned seat or whatever, blah, blah, blah. We end up having a seat that open, but there's, like, a rule with the flight attendants on the plane. Like, if you work first class, mm-hmm. that's your cabin. Can't okay. nobody... The other flight attendant can't tell you how to run your cabin. Got you. Versus, you know, like the flight attendant in the back, you can't tell them how to run their cabin. Okay. So if somebody wants something done in the back, you got to send them to that flight attendant. Like mm-hmm. I can't tell you can sit right here and that's her like right. area. You got to talk to her about it. Right. Which which um do you you work both? Regular yeah, but I mostly work the front. I okay. mostly work with first class. I love working with first class. What what's um what's nice about the first class? It's a bunch of business people. You get to hear those conversations like. You like you can't really talk to them about their business, but just to listen in on some conversations and you can hear how other people like picking their brains and how to go about stuff. I w- you would be surprised some of the stuff I've actually learned just about listening. Wow. Like with the business stuff that I am trying to like start up. Yeah. Just from the conversations I've heard and listened in on. Helped wow. me a lot. That is interesting. Mm-hmm. That's tough. I've never. Have you ever like flew first class regular? Like the, yeah. Um. So you having that discount that you have? Can you fly? Can you fly first class for free? Mm-hmm. Wow. But um. So I haven't flew international with my benefits yet. But okay. I've heard that when you do fly international as a flight attendant, you automatically get first class. Hmm. So that that's lit. Yeah. Wow, that is interesting. Shout out to first class. Okay. What's the wildest thing you've seen or experienced in general in the sky? Because I'm sure it's some wild shit that takes place. You, It is, but it's a lot of stuff that you can get away with that people don't know. Really? Yeah, so I think I worked the back of the plane this time. And I had a gentleman... And his, I guess, I don't, I don't know if it was his girlfriend, wife, or whatever, but it was somebody he was with. Mm-hmm. They were watching porn. Really? And it's crazy because you can watch porn on the plane. <laughs> oh, that's so no one can say. No, uh, as long as you me, have sir. headphones in. Wow. Like <laughs> that's why they be so big on like you know make sure you have your headphones plugged in and stuff if you are listening to stuff on your phone. Mm-hmm. Like you can literally watch porn on the plane. Is it Wi Fi in the sky? Mm-hmm. Oh, because I already say, if it's not, then that might have been them. I mean, watching it could have been. Yeah. I don't, I've seen people watch porn. I've seen people on OnlyFans. I've, I was literally a passenger on the plane and saw a man, I guess, what's the dating website where you swipe left or right? Is it like Tinder, Tinder? or something? Yeah. yeah, he was on there and then sending videos. I was just like, get me off this plane. Wow. So I've, I've mostly seen sexual stuff on the plane. That, ha- have you seen people like try to hide shit with the cover? Like they put the cover over their laps and like they. Uh-uh, I ain't mm-hmm. came across that. I yeah. don't want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen, I've had someone, um, I've had some a passenger like stare at me on the plane, but I you just know, locked in. Yeah, but you know, like, you know, there's it's some certain looks. Uh-huh. Like you can tell, like Like what he's off? Like, you know how you can just look at somebody, you can tell like it look like they're trying to like undress you or something. Uh-huh. Or, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he was, was doing that. The, yeah, he was on that. And I'm just like, oh, this is this is awkward. Yeah, like, very much. Uh-uh. Yeah. But yeah, that's the only real 
crazy experiences I've had on the plane. Other than that, everybody be chill. I haven't had nobody pass out. I haven't had nobody hurt they stuff. I ain't had nobody try to open another goddamn emergency exit door. You like saw that, that man. Yes. That oh my crazy. God. But they said he was doing it when they were landing. They yeah. was like eight hundred Yeah, seven hundred, eight hundred feet. Yeah. It was like if oh if they was up up, they would have been dead. I yeah. said that is crazy. Yeah. And when I was just flying somebody, I had to, we have to do a briefing about the emergency exits. Like if they're sitting in a row, whatever. And um, this man, he was joking, but I just, my face speaks my expressions for uh-huh. itself. And he was like, I'm a salesman. He said, I'm just going to charge people to get out this door if they want to live. What? On a plane? You can't even joke like that. That's wild. That's I said, like so saying, do you want to move your seat? Yeah, <laughs> that's like, you, you can't say bomb on a plane, right? No. Yeah, that's that's wild. That's almost to that level. Has anyone ever tried this? Have you ever seen that? Someone's- no. Yeah. Uh-uh. I've been... And the crazy thing is, I've only been a flight attendant for a little under a year, but compared to other people, I've had it very smooth. Mm. Oh, you be hearing some wild-ass stories? Yes. Like, yeah. after people get out of training, people be passing out on the plane or a fire starts on the plane. Mm. Like, I haven't had any of that. The mm. only thing I've had is probably like a drunk person on a plane. Yeah. But I we've let them know like you better straighten up before right. you get to your next destination. Drink this bottle of water. <laughs> That's what's up. God bless that. It was smooth sailing for the most part. As up to now, we're gonna, you know, uh manifest that it remains that way for the remaining <laughs> of you. your uh, flight you. attendant tenure. All right, so let's talk about the bottle waitress for a second. Um, are you at a regular club or strip club? I'm at a What's a wait? What's a what's a regular club? Because you know there's clubs, there's lounges. Charlie yeah. got everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so let's do this. Are you at a club, lounge, or strip club? Um, so where I I work at a section. It used to be called recess. Right here. Yeah. Okay. That's where I work. So I mean it's a mixture. I guess yeah. you could say lounge slash club. Yeah, yeah. But that's where I'm at. Okay. I used to I'm just there every Saturday. Nice. So nice. look your table with me. There you go. So um I wanna know how we got to a certain point. In the club scene today, okay, far as the signs, it's like when when the when the bottles come out with the signs, signs, yeah, it was it just came out of nowhere. It's like it's a battle of the signs nowadays. It's like you talking about far as like when we do like the words and stuff, yeah, on the, the signs? Custom, how how you can, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, honestly, I've seen it a lot in like the bigger cities, like Vegas and Houston and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but. I don't even know how it got here, it's but crazy. I love it. Yeah. Because you get to be petty as fuck on the side. Creative. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. The, I the love petty it. part. My um my man's uh shout out to Raw Dog. Wild dude. You can tell by the name, Raw Dog. He's um you sound like a crazy man. Yeah. So he, you know, he he be hitting the clubs in DC and what and whatnot. And his signs are so fucking funny. Like he'll do like future quotes. Like some petty shit towards a girl. Future like, is so toxic. And that's how it's... <laughs> and he'll have like a, one of them on the sign. Like, uh, damn, I can't remember. Ah, uh, man, I, I can't remember. He would have like some toxic ass future quotes on, on his signs side. when they bring them out. And oh he will record them. And he has like a whole like highlight on his story of them. The funniest shit ever. But I'm like, like you said, it's good to like show off that creativeness. Mm-hmm. It's just some people like to be petty. You got some people that want to be funny. Some people that's trying to throw shots. It just depends. Like I've had a table where they say, you know, we fuck bottle waitresses or fuck bottle girls. On the sign? Or they yeah, said it, no, oh, on the sign. We fuck bottle girls? Yeah. Okay. How did you feel about that? I mean, I knew them. So, I okay. mean, my boyfriend and his people bought the bottle. So, it's okay. like... Well, your boyfriend wasn't lying. Yeah, he's not. he wasn't lying. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his friends wasn't lying either. Gotcha. I had a sign where um, they said, we buy BBLs and veneers. <laughs> but it was true. It's true. <laughs> like, I have, I have friends that buy... BBLs and, BBLs veneers. and veneers. Probably titties too at that point. Whatever you want. I mean, we, we shit, whatever you, you want. If you, you know, you're doing what you need to do, you get yeah. what you want. How do you feel about BBLs? Um, teach his own. Mm-hmm. I don't need one. Mm-hmm. I'm from the South. I eat good. I have friends that have BBLs. I have friends. How did they turn out, the BBLs? They look good as fuck. Yeah. It looks very natural. I just don't like BBLs. That don't make sense. Bro, some of these BBLs look the so fucking disgusting. The thighs are supposed to match. Uh, we understand, you know, get it, you know, get get what matches your body. Yeah. Get what makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, so if you want a, you want a big thing back there. Yeah. Don't look make, like an ant. Don't yeah. look like the letter P. Yeah, that shit you was is. Because you was not pushing P with that. That, that shit is, is not crazy. Cute. I've never hit. I've never hit a girl with a BBL that I know of. Unless she had one that was immaculate and I couldn't tell. 
But I am interested just to see like the the feel like of one. I've never. Um, I mean, I have friends that are dancers, and they got BBLs. They got their butt done, and they feel nice. Yeah, they feel real good. Oh my god, see about it. Um, back to the club, right quick. Um, what is the wildest thing as a bottle waitress? What's the wildest thing you've seen or experienced in the club? <sighs> So, there we go. Um, Take a deep breath. Yeah, no, because this is a lot. I just started back talking about this. Um, I said I was actually gonna make a video about it. So back in 2020, so 2020, right when COVID had just started, it was March 2020, Friday the 13th. Mm, spooky. Yeah, no, it was real spooky. Um, I was working at White House, and we had mulatto there. Mm-hmm. So this is when she was just like popping, like okay. everybody was fucking with her back then. Yeah. Club was packed wall to wall. Like, you couldn't move. Like, White House had it where you had to, like, stay on the couches and shit. Okay. Like, you could not see the floor. That's yeah. how packed it was in there. Um, But I had somebody hit me in the face with a Hennessy bottle. On, like? Purpose. On purpose. A, yeah. gu- a guy or a woman? It was a guy. Did really? not know him. Just out of nowhere, he... Um. So, there's a lot of different stories that happened with that. Uh-huh. But... You know, back then there was they were really big in Charlotte on the cages. What cages? Cages inside like the club? that you lock your um your bottle, your liquor oh, bottles okay. in. Because in North Carolina you can't hold your liquor bottle. Versus like in South Carolina you can hold your own bottle and shit, keep it at the table. Really, I didn't know that. So um, the guy, his like how we're sitting. Um, my section was over here. He was over there, but I wasn't his waitress over his table. Mm-hmm. And he actually came up to me and he asked me for, you know, a shot out of his bottle. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm very big on I do not mess with another bottle waitress's table. Like, that's Mm -hmm. just like cold. You don't do that. You don't go and mess with another waitress's table. If you need, if a table needs something, you go get that waitress or let them know, like, I'll let your waitress know type shit. Yeah. Um, So he asked for a shot. I told him I couldn't give it to him, but I'll get his waitress or whatever. Fast forward, he had ended up calling me a bitch. Mm. And at this time I was real like Rowdy at okay. this time Like I'm in the nightlife Like I'm learning people Like people didn't really know Like people knew me But they only knew me in the club Nobody ever saw me outside the club Cause okay. I was just school or club I yeah. didn't like people in my business yeah. And I stood on top of the couch And I was like bitch Like who the fuck you calling a bitch mm-hmm. And he was just like you So when I look up Next thing you know I see him whew, Like as soon as I blink Bottle hit me in my face. Wait, he he did he throw it or he actually just smacks you? With no, it? he threw it. Like how wow. far? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like from the door to like me. That's how close he was with the bottle. But it happened so fast when he hit me. Like I just blacked out. Like I saw blood. Like oh, I looked shit. at him and saw blood, and I was like, "Oh, it's go time." Now I yeah. really got to show you like who the fuck I am. Yeah. But my adrenaline was going so bad, I didn't realize I was bleeding from the mouth. I Damn. did not know. Like, so when I got hit, he's running. And mind you, usually there was security, like, on the stage and stuff. They weren't Mm. even on the stage. Mm. Security wasn't around. I don't know where the other waitress went. And so I end up, like, chasing a nigga. Yeah. All through the club. Like, there was, like, this back area where the sections were. I don't ran through there. But I see people looking at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I know I'm crazy. Yeah. But I don't know that I'm bleeding at the mouth. So now I got other, the security guards coming out of nowhere. And they was pulling on me. And What they do to him? Oh man! We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. So now I'm running through the club. The waitresses is like telling me that I'm bleeding, and I'm just like, bro, like I don't give a fuck. Like Mm -hmm. my journal is going get this nigga right now. Like he just hit me. Yeah. So now his other homeboys went on. One of his homeboys tried to throw a Corona bottle at me. Like at this point, everybody's just throwing bottles at me in the club, and I do not know why. Mm. So now we're chasing him out the club, and um. Shout out to Noah. Um, Noah was one of the owners of the club, and he actually was trying to, like, calm me down. But when we all went outside, like, Mecklenburg County was already out there. Mm. So he's telling, like, Noah's sitting there telling him, like, you need to get this nigga. Like, he just assaulted one of my waitresses. And the other management and stuff, they're inside the office. They're all trying to get me inside. And Mm. I'm just like, no, like, this man hit me. And, um... So they end up getting me in the office. One of the waitresses that I'm still close with to this day, her name is Electra. Um, shout out to Electra. That's like my, she's my mom of the nightlife. That's a like nice she's name. The, she's the OG. Like I respect her so much. 
But she, um, she's in there with me, like holding my legs down like this, cause I'm shaking like yeah. that. And she's like, "I need you to calm down." Next thing you know, I pull, I calm, I pull up my phone, and I'm about to call somebody on Facetime, and I see my face. Mm, and it hit you. It all, oh, it just stopped. I felt all the pain. It was just like a bunch of blood. I was yeah. missing teeth. Damn. I had teeth chips. It was bad. A like, Hennessy was, bottle is thick. And then, you know, and you know what's crazy? The bottle didn't even bust when it hit my face. Yeah, uh, if it would have bust when it hit your face, it then that would have been bad because a Hennessy bottle is thick. It would have been worse. Like it was so bad. So it was to the point where um, they end up having the waitresses like some of the other waitresses went to go clean up or whatever like that. But it was so I was so hurt because one, I was supposed to be going to Mexico the next day. Oh man! So my whole trip got canceled. Yeah. And then on top of that, like one of the waitresses found my tooth on the ground, and she like when she brought my tooth to me, yeah. that shit sunk in. Yeah. Like I know that shit fucked you up. What the fuck? And I yeah. used to like granny now. I still got a pretty smile, but it was just like I was so I was such a smiling person back mm. then. So I was just like, bro, I'm fucked. Yeah. Like this is my face. Mm. So they end up having to rush me on the ambulance truck because I lost over six ounces of blood just from my mouth. Damn. I got to the hospital. They did X rays and stuff. I had uh, from security pulling on my arm and everything like that, and me trying to fight and swing at the dudes because um, it was like five dudes I was trying to buy, fight by myself. Yeah. Um, I ended up having like a bruise. I had a bruised shoulder. Um, I had a cut on my arm. They ended up having to wrap my arm up and shit. Like it was bad. And then because of how my mouth was, I was missing so many teeth. Like I wasn't missing that many. I was probably missing like four. But it was like between being missing and like fractured and stuff. Mm -hmm. I had to have my mouth wired shut. Mm. So I went like from your teeth or was your jaw? No, injured? my teeth. Damn. Like it was that bad. Yeah. Like and. Make it all crazy. This was during my senior year of college. Oh man. I'm a social work major. Like I got mm. my internship. I got senior paper. I got senior presentation. Mm -hmm. Like social work is a very big deal in college. Like at Smith, you have to be interviewed in order to even have it declared as your major. Damn. Like they do not play. You can't just choose that shit. Right. So even if you like if you don't get accepted in the program, you gotta find something else that goes with your electives that you just took for the first two years. Mm -hmm. So I ended up having to tell like my professors and stuff about it. And my professors, like they were there for me, but it was like, you still got to do your presentations. Mm -hmm. So I'm high as hell off of Oxy and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like at this point we don't went virtual. So I'm high as hell off of Oxy in the bed like this, mm -hmm. trying to do a senior presentation. Luckily mm -hmm. I passed all my classes and stuff, but it was just like, I went through so much yeah that's tough so like that's what ended up also making me leave charlotte because it was just like they never caught the dude mm. that ended up doing it because yeah. like i said mecklenburg county was outside that night and they just they didn't they let they literally let this man walk away damn and the owners and stuff was pissed about it like they was doing everything they could so like shout out to the whole like white house management at the time because they were literally like pulling camera doing whatever they needed to do to try to like Helped me get this dude, but he never got caught. Mm. So I ended up going back home. My mom didn't feel like I was safe in Charlotte at the time. They didn't know if somebody followed me home because I was staying by myself. So then I was I can't I went back to South Carolina, but after a while I just missed Charlotte. Like mm -hmm. I was already living on my own. I didn't want to be back at home. Yeah. So that's when I ended up moving. I ended up meeting my dude and I was just driving back and forth and then I moved back in late October and been back ever since. Nice, nice. Well, that's one of those things where <laughs> where 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 God gonna handle it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As far as him getting away, that's some fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? For yeah. Because you and your feelings to do any type of even if you argue with a with a woman over because you and your feelings, but let alone to assault or throw a bottle, yeah, that's some fuck shit. God definitely got him. He probably not even probably. I know he got dealt with in the worst way. Yeah, I know you would have liked hope. to have. Yeah, I know you would have liked to have been a part Listen, of it or seen it. My South Carolina girl was ready to come out. Like yeah. I was blacked out. Oh, like man. my brother, I ended up having to call my brother on Facetime mm -hmm. and. He was on campus uh, at the time. And usually, like, Smith to White House was probably, like, it was around the corner. It wasn't too far. My yeah. brother got there in, like, three minutes. Mm -hmm. Three yeah. goddamn minutes. And he didn't want to talk to nobody. Like, right. he was pissed. Yeah, on go. I wish, um, shout out to my dog, Gleesh. My homie, Gleesh, little bro. He, um, well, big little bro. He bigger than me. He a security guard. 
and he be he be slapping shit. He be stealing on shit all the time. <laughs> That's my he be, he be sending videos like, bro, look how I just had to handle this fuck nigga the other day. I'm like, yo, this nigga. It be crazy in the club, yeah. but it's just like now, like since my experience, like I don't trust nobody in the club. I get it. I don't trust nobody. Like if my if my dude not in the club or like some of his friends that I actually trust, mm -hmm. I don't trust nobody. Yeah, makes sense. Because after what I've been through, it's just like. I don't know y'all true intentions. Like I had people I trusted in and look what the fuck happened to me. Now you want me to trust you? Yeah. Fuck no. That's heavy. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. And it does suck when you like in a situation like that with someone you trust or fuck with and they don't, uh, they don't have your back and it's, nah, let me not even go down that road. <laughs> it's just, nah, nah yeah, I ain't going to no. tell that story. Um, but since you were speaking on your dude to speak on uh, more lighter topics, um, how long have you been together? We have been together for a little over two years. Ah, shalom. Any um, any bells in the near future? Maybe. 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 Nice. I fuck with him though. That's he's a great up. guy. That's good. We need more. We need more black couples out here today. Yeah, he's a great guy. I don't have nothing bad to say about him. He a hustler. That's, that's the thing. There we go. Shout out to bruh. So let me ask you about. Let me ask you something. Say he proposes to, or manifests when he proposes to you, right? Okay. <laughs> um, bachelor party. Would you want to know? What goes on at your dude's bachelor no. party? No. 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 But no. I will have one rule. What's that? No one night stand. Just because you about to get married the next day. I don't care okay. what you do. Okay. Just don't do no one night stand. So you can't fuck them. Strippers, all that shit, whatever, cool. You had a, I mean, he got stripper friends. I got stripper friends. Mm -hmm. We've been, a, I've been to a stripper party with him mm -hmm. where like, Girls was dancing and shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not the type to disrespect me, mm -hmm. but we have an understanding. Don't do no shit you don't want me doing. Yeah. Because vice versa, whatever you do, I can do worse. <laughs> so. All right. And then um, that will go for him too. Like y'all yeah, no. both wouldn't want to no, know what, what goes we both on. Have to, we both have an understanding. But if that was to come to the case, like, yeah, no, I don't want to know. I'm talking about bachelor and bachelorette party. He don't know what goes on at yours. You don't know what goes on at his, but y'all have that rule. Ain't no hooking up. Correct. Right. Let a girl shake her ass on you. That's fine. Let her have her little moment. Let her be great. Is head hooking up? Head? Mm-hmm. Getting head. Is that hooking up? <laughs> Did you just saw my face? Yeah. <laughs> 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 For those listening. And so head is hooking up according to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. Got you. Because that's just like, okay, if you had a shorty... Mm-hmm. You gonna let your shorty? Oh, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not for that shit. Yeah, listen, yeah, no. I listen. No. As, as the host of this podcast, I'm devil's advocate at times, <laughs> so I just gotta yeah, throw. No. I gotta throw that shit out there sometimes. Hell nah, with that shit. Mm -mm. What? You're not doing that. I'm if you can, if you can do it, that mean I can do it. Yeah, and then that. And you if won't. That, if that would happen, if yo, if my girl would have gave head on her bachelorette party and that shit came back to me, even after the fucking marriage, yo, I'm gonna fucking lose it, bro. So what if she didn't? Give it, but she got hair from somebody. A guy or a girl? Either or. If she got hair from a girl on her bachelorette party, I'd be like, you know what? All right, cool, it happened. But in order to even the feels, I got to fuck her in front of you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about a guy? Uh, I don't know. Uh, because, look, if a girl gave you head. Uh-huh. Well, this is insinuating that a girl didn't give me head. Okay. If I got head at my bachelor party and she got head at hers, cool. Mono you ain't mono. gonna be mad. It is what it is. Now, if I was chilling at mine and she got head from a nigga at her bachelorette party, I might flip. Ain't no might. I am gonna flip. You just had another nigga taste what's what's ready to be mine for life. Nah, I'm flipping. I'm flipping. Okay. Why you make that face? That's cool in your books? No, that's not cool. It's just like I just feel like when it comes to like guys with certain stuff. Not all guys, but some people just feel like it's okay. You know, it's okay when I do it, but it's a problem. Again, that's it. why I said if I got head from a girl and if she, I wouldn't trip. But if okay. if she just out of nowhere, hey, a guy ate me out at my bachelorette party. Nah, I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that. Maybe again, I would feel better if I fucked her friend. Maybe like, all right. Yeah, or her friend gave me head. At that point, you're doing tit for tat. That just means. Yeah, I would uh, definitely do tit for tat. I'm not, I, big, I, I'm I would, not would, a tit for tat person. Well, that would bring the out the pettiness. Me was. That would bring out the pettiness in me. I wouldn't be for that shit. Overall, I would more than likely leave her. Like, if, nah, nah, that's deep. That's too deep. Yeah, no. The old me is definitely a tit for tat chick. I'm yeah. down. I'm going to get grimy than a motherfucker with you. But now I'm just, okay. Well, let's it's talk cool. about let's talk about it, uh, the old you. You just said <laughs> if. 
she does something, you could do it way worse. So let's say the old you got cheated on. How would you worsen that? Ooh, we. We're going there. Oh, God. Let me take a drink. On yeah, this yeah. Thing. Get yourself together. You know mm. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, when guys cheat, they try to be sneaky. But y'all are. 100% 20 times sneakier than us when it comes to cheating. Um, okay, the old me was a cheater. I ain't gonna lie. Me now, I don't I don't get no entertainment from that. They don't do shit for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but going back to your question, I'm gonna do it in front of his face. What? I'm gonna play shit cool. I'm gonna treat you like a nigga on the street. How could you do it in front? What do you mean? Like literally, like you're gonna have him in the same room? Yeah, I'm gonna have them niggas in the same room. I'm gonna have you shake hands with a nigga. Your dude ain't gonna be for that. He gonna walk out. He ain't, he ain't gonna, gonna know how he gonna know that's him. He ain't gonna wait. So you're saying you would have the dude that cheated on you in the same room and with you, the nigga that I'm fucking on. Oh, his back. oh, oh! I thought yeah. you met in front of your dude. No, you're no, saying no, no, just no, no. oh, just you're in saying general, yeah. Ah, but I'm gonna make it. You know, niggas can tell vibes when they female fucking with somebody or yeah. some shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, but I, my thing is, I ain't gonna hide it. Oh, you I mean, I'm not gonna be sitting here throwing my ass on him in front of you, yeah, but you gonna yeah. see a little touching, you gonna see a uh, little, uh, you gonna see me having more conversation with him than you. Oh, but man. it's like with me, I like then I learned my like person because I've been in a situation like that, so it's like I've learned my person. Then so it's like I know the buttons to push. I don't have to do much to piss you off, mm. but it's like I know that trigger that's gonna set you off that you can't just sit here and set shit off right now at this moment. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is you. Wait, you said you've been in that situation before. What situation were you referring um, to? The situation where like I've gotten like cheated on real bad by somebody, and I had to let them know like. This ain't what you want. Have you, you said you had cheated before in your past. Mm-hmm. Did you uh, cheat first or was it a cheat back to get back at? It was a get back. Okay. Right. Yeah, it was a get back. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, me, when I'm about my person, like if I have somebody, I'm just about you. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not interested in nobody else. Like I don't care. Girl, I'm a bottle waitress. So niggas see my ass out mm-hmm. and shit all the time. So mm-hmm. it's just like, I already know what niggas want. Mm-hmm. Niggas want to fuck. Niggas yeah. want to touch. Like I don't care about none of that. Mm-hmm. Like these niggas can't do what you do for me. Like everybody don't see everything. Talk your shit. So, and it's just being real. Like yeah, that's what's up. niggas don't, everybody don't see everything. So it's like, I've had to let niggas know before. Like you niggas compliment me all the time. Mm-hmm. The same thing you just said to me, do. I get told that every day. At night. During the day, I'm, at night, yeah. just random texting, like yeah. on the phone. Like mm-hmm. what, what, do you, what makes you so special? Mm-hmm. Cause I got somebody that already made me feel special saying it. So what make you different? Mm. I like that. <laughs> um, speaking of cheating and how you said you and your dude, y'all, you know what I'm saying, been in stripper parties together and whatnot. Um, let's talk threesomes. So could would you do one with your dude now with threesome? No, but I know people want to do one with us. Mm. Why wouldn't you? You say you don't like sharing? Fuck no, I'm not sharing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing when it comes to threesomes and relationships and all that. Women don't want to have threesomes, but they do because they don't want to share. But niggas don't want to share their bitch either, though. With a guy, no. But with a girl, yes. It's a double standard. We, we I'm not going to say and act like double standards are real. That is definitely a double standard. But um, I, I say that because y'all don't want to do what y'all dudes, but a random nigga will get that benefit of having a threesome because you don't have that connection or that bond with him. Yeah, but see, I see what you're saying, but I'm not big on uh like just. Not saying this is how females are, but I'm not big on just giving myself away to people, like if that makes sense. Like, Have you ever had a one night stand? I had a one night stand, but it was somebody I felt comfortable enough with. Was it some? Did you meet them that night? No. Okay. So I don't know if you can really consider that a one night stand. I wouldn't. I'm talking about y'all meet that day. That same shit. night and have yeah. no, I've never done that. Okay, well, someone you met and then a couple, like a couple, y'all kind of talking whatever, but you feel comfortable with him. Would yeah. he, would he, be able to get a threesome? No. No. Mm. I think I'm just not really big on threesomes for yeah. real. Like it doesn't, it don't do nothing for me. And, and like I said, I'm very stingy. But mm-hmm. like I said, I know people want to do stuff like that with me and my dude because we had OnlyFans. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the OnlyFans y'all had, it was just content of y'all. What? Mm-hmm. How was that? How did the... Was it, it was lucrative? Great. It was great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Was it lucrative, the actual OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Why'd y'all stop? 
just took a break from it. Mm. It was just something fun to do. Yeah. And like we just we were lit- we literally just have that good like an understanding with each other. Mm. So it was just like you would like people on the outside looking in. It's just like they think it's just my OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you let your bitch do an OnlyFans, and it's just like y'all looking anyway. I've I've been approached by and well, it's only happened like three times. Like where a chick be like, let's do an OnlyFans, let's start an OnlyFans, but they always bluff. I'm like, and I know it too. I'm like, yo, you bluffing? Like this sounds good. I know it's probably exciting to think about it, but you're going to bluff, and then she end up bluffing. Yeah, I mean, so with OnlyFans, I would say. Like, at first, with, like, me, I wanted to do it. Like, every girl wanted to do it. Because, I mean, look at the money that like people was making off this shit. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, everyone to do it. But it's just a matter of, like, it's the internet. Like, yeah. once it's there, it's there. It ain't leaving. Yeah. <laughs> like, it ain't leaving. Like, niggas can screen record, screenshot, mm-hmm. all this, that, and the third. So, it's like, once you do it, like, that's it. And I think, like, with me, that's the fact I did it with my dude. It just mm-hmm. made me so comfortable, like, yeah. enough to do it. Because it's like, it's my dude. Like, yeah, that's on point. I'm not just doing it with some random nigga. Like, right. this somebody I'm fucking with. So, son, do get out. I mean, shit, he know. Hell, he was the one there. Got you. Yeah, one. And then another thing for me, I wouldn't want my face. If I were to do the OnlyFans with a girl, I wouldn't want my face in there. But, like, I have body tattoos and shit. So, like, yeah. I always feel like if we, you know what I'm saying, I would be ski masked up. <laughs> But my, I mean, but that could be a good little script, though. Yeah, like, uh, absolutely. It, it would, it would do numbers. Script. It would do numbers. But again, just I don't know where my journey is going to end up 5, 10, 15 years from now. Yeah. And it's like someone can put them tattoos together with a side by side. And you know how petty people like to say, yeah. you have trolls and shit. But I mean, again, like if, if, you know what I'm saying? If they ain't bluff, I would have went through with it. And if, you know what I'm saying, someone ain't bluffing, I still might go through I mean, yeah, because mm-hmm. I mean, I got tattoos. He got tattoos. So, yeah. I mean, niggas, every time I get a tattoo just about, I post it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah. I just feel like people going to judge you regardless of what yeah. you do. I, I'll say this. If I would have, because I've thought about it. Because like I said, if like if another joint, like that we have good sex and she was like, I want to start OnlyFans, I'll be for it. But I would say this. Did y'all promote yours? on like y'all social medias or was it like an anonymous type thing um so because of what he does we he didn't necessarily like promote it on his page Mm -hmm. um but i posted the link on my page Mm. uh and this was like before i started like flight attendant stuff so it was like it was different yeah so um like, I had to make it where it was like a link tree because, you know, mm. Instagram flagged that only they know it's the only fans yeah. link. They go flag the shit. So right. I made a link tree and I had like the link in my bio or I would just post it on like just post the link it, the link tree itself on my story mm-hmm. and just do it that way. Or like if I was out of town, like on a trip or something, like I'll just post the video and post the link or something. Yeah. So yeah. OK. Yeah, that's not bad. I would I would be like completely anonymous with it. I would send it. I actually thought about how I would do this. I would send it to. Um, different like porn pages on Twitter. I would send it to them. Okay. But from an, I would probably make like a whole anonymous Twitter and everything. Oh no, I could send it from mine. They wouldn't like do nothing crazy. Don't they tag you and stuff like that on Twitter though? But yeah, so I would make a page. I would okay. come up with a crazy name, like a completely random name and location. I would put like Los Angeles, California. Right, some random shit. Yeah, and I would send it to porn pages and I would have them tag me in it, right? But again, I would never have it on my main page, page or nothing. Right, It'd just be on your fake page and yeah. let the traffic all go through there. But what I would do is one day, like say, especially with women, who who views your OnlyFans? Who viewed it more, men or women? See, that's hard to yeah. say because nobody actually showed who they really were right. on OnlyFans. Oh, okay. So you could have females on there as niggas. Yeah, and then vice versa. Yeah, I would market it by this. I would market it in person. Say I'm just on my phone. I will have the page, the Twitter page. I will show it to say like I'm chilling with some girls or whatever um, that I'm cool with, like comfortable okay. showing them that type shit. I, I want to tell them it's me. If they put two and two together, cool. But I'm like, yo, he's stroking the shit out shorty. Look at this. And they would look at me like, oh, that's on point. That's a little joint or whatever. You think that's, that's yeah? They'd be like, yeah. They'd be like, all right, bet. So in you person know, it would work. Females I would, FBI agents. We going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to find the fuck out. are you telling? Y'all definitely are. We good at remembering at names and mm-hmm. everything. We yeah. ain't got to write it down. But I would want them to, I'd be like, yeah, da, da. I would send it out type shit like behind, or like, I don't, I don't post porn on my Twitter page. I'm, I'm, I'm stepping away from porn in general, but yo, my Twitter joint used to be filthy. Like, oh my cause you know how, you know how easy, like Twitter porn be on point. Uh, so I used to have, when I did have a Twitter, I said I might end up going back in Twitter because my best friend told me I need to. But like Don't, when I used to be in Twitter, toxic. 
Yeah, but see, you know, you got the Twitter at the dark shit. That shit be lit. Yeah. That is lit. It's a lot going on Twitter at the dark. A lot. A lot. But you were saying when you had a Twitter, you... I oh, used, the, oh this, is that what you was? Oh, mm-hmm. the, oh porn. You, yeah, it's on point. It's out there. Like, a Twitter porn Yeah, is, like, it's, it's crazy because it's like, Twitter don't flag none of this shit. But nothing. you get on Instagram and all these other places, they just flag, 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 flag. But it's like... Fuck it, I'm just gonna go to goddamn Twitter then. Shit, you can go. I feel like niggas go on Twitter and bust a nut quickly. Yes, but just because ain't hey, there is like they're not filtering nothing. And plus, it's more realistic because it's amateur. Twitter porn is more mostly amateurs of people recording, like usually people only fans or whatever mm-hmm. may have you. So it's amateur and amateur porn just feels a little more personal. It feels more real, right? You know what Instead I mean? Which of makes just it... being so like, oh, this is scripted. We're gonna yeah, do it this exactly. way, this way. Yeah. There's no filters. Like it's natural. Exactly. So I'm gonna tell you how filthy I was with Twitter. Oh Jesus! And I recently looked back to this. This goes back to like. 2017 maybe okay i didn't even know that bookmarks on twitter was a real thing i didn't know you could bookmark tweets so what i used to do whenever i would found a porn like clip save, like save tweets yeah i didn't know you okay. could do that okay so what i used to do when i would find a porno clip on twitter that i liked i would dm it to myself okay and i look back and like from yo i had shit from say like a month ago or so all the way up to like 2017 like of just a fucking library, but it sucks because a lot of the pages ended up getting like, like deleted, deleted or, or taken down and stuff. Yeah, so some of them I can't even pop up. But yeah, I had like a whole joint, and then someone's like, "Oh, you look a bookmark." I was like, "I didn't know that." So, I didn't know yeah. you could. I didn't know you could do that on social media though. Like you could send stuff to yourself. I I would DM it to myself. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. I, what? A whole library. I'm talking about one of them big ass New York City libraries that. Go up 20 feet tall. Yeah, that shit was shit uh, was filthy. This, oh, my gosh. Yeah, shit was crazy. Um, so uh, I did have one more question, but uh, I, I don't even want to get to it because it was about threesome and we already passed that. You said, yeah. Okay. Um, so what else you got going on? Um, far as with what? Let's talk. Um, let's talk business for a second before we get out of here. You said with the passive incomes and whatnot. Okay. Um. You don't have to give all the sauce out because the game is to be sold, not to be told. But I think you said in the beginning, what are some different ways you're trying to accumulate passive? Um, so in process of vending machines. Mm. And then global. Yeah. That's is very slept on. Yeah. Very slept on. And I actually have a meeting tomorrow about two properties. Nice. Do you have any properties now? Or would these be your first? These would be my first three. Okay. Nice. So, um, are you looking to rent them out? Um, yeah, I'm doing um, rent them out, doing Airbnb, corporate yeah. leasing. Nice, nice. You're mm-hmm. on point. All right, cool. Well, I don't want you to give away no secrets as far oh, as yeah, that. Oh yeah, no. Once I get all that situated, I'm actually going to start an ebook. Give the hidden tricks I found. Um, you should do online courses as well. Yeah, I thought about it. Yeah, of course. Just because you know you can, you can of course charge more than ebooks. Plus, with the online courses, depending on how you do it. You can like set everything up and record everything once, and then that be passive as fuck. That's yeah, that's, that is sure. Yeah, that's what I'm ready to do with the fuck it. I'll say it. I hate when I say Ooh, something. Well, no, you happens. ain't got to if you don't want to. Yeah, now. I, I, I'll tell you. I'll you tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you off of here. I'll tell okay. you off here because I don't. Yeah, I'll tell you off of here. But yeah, that's what's up. Well, um, listen, um, I truly thank you for pulling up, Big Breezy in the building. <laughs> no problem. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely. This was, this was fun. Thank I you. enjoyed this. Thank you. I tell people day by day is a vibe first, con- yeah, no, conversation this is second. A vibe. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate everybody tuning in, whether you're watching on YouTube, yes. listening on your podcast platform iHeartRadio, Apple Podcast, Spotify. Okay, the man guy. We on everywhere. Now. We Come everywhere. So we I, viral with I, this. Everywhere. So okay. I thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> um, I ask that y'all subscribe, like, and share it out. If you like what you yes. saw or heard, go ahead and share that out to share. somebody. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all book with me every Saturday at Section, okay? Because it's a vibe. Section in Charlotte. Okay. Get with her. And I'm going um, to put Breeze, um, you know, handles and links in the description so that you can find her and tap in with her however you like. Um, so yeah until next time ladies and gentlemen make sure that y'all stay safe stay sane but most importantly stay blessed peace